watch my channel on a regular basis, you will know just how amazing rats are as a species and also as pets. But there are still so, so many people out there that have a negative stigma about them. Just in case you are one of those people, please watch this entire video until the end. It might just change your mind about them because today I want to tell you 10 times that science proved that rats are amazing. It is incredibly hot in here today, I've had to turn the fan off just to film this video. And my hay fever is also raging, so apologies if I don't sound the best. Fingers crossed I don't lose my voice by the end of the video. Regardless of how you feel about scientific studies and some of the methods and ethics behind them, these have taught us so, so much about rats and some of the facts are very, very interesting and can also be transferred to what we know about humans too. Okay, number one is that rats can dream about their future. So scientists monitored the brain activity in rats First as they viewed food in an area they couldn't reach, then as they rested and slept in a separate chamber, and then finally when they were allowed to reach the food. The activity found in hippocampal place cells, these are specialised brain cells involved in navigation, suggested that whilst the rats were resting, their brain was simulating walking to and from the food they couldn't reach. This part of the brain they were monitoring is the part that maps your environment. It's also the part that plays a role in envisioning a future that hasn't happened yet. And although we can't fully know if they do dream in the same way that we do, because we can't ask them, this study did show the rats were thinking about reaching the food they couldn't reach whilst they were awake. On a less happy note, researchers also found that when rats were scared by something during the day, the same part of their brain at the fear centre was reactivated during their sleep, suggesting they do dream or think about bad things they have experienced during the day. Number two is that rats are capable of empathy, and I think this is one of those studies that can really help us as humans feel differently about rats as a species. Scientists tested rats' desire to help other rats and found these rats would choose to free the rat that was trapped in an enclosed space, even when they didn't get the benefit of having direct access to them to interact. Even when rats were given the choice between freeing another rat and having access to chocolate chips, they often found the rats would choose to free the other rat and share the chocolate chips together. When they tested this against an empty trap, they would ignore this and eat all five chocolate chips by themselves, but when there was a rat present, they would free them and allow them to have, on average, 1.5 chocolate chips. Number three is that rats will avoid action that hurts other rats, even if it earns them a treat. Still kind of on the topic of empathy, rats were taught to press a lever to receive treats, and when these rats learned that pressing that lever also caused pain to another rat, they decreased how much they pressed the lever. However, when the scientists upped the reward and they were getting three treats for pressing the lever, the rats did get a bit more selfish and were increasing how much they were pressing that, so I guess just like humans, even rats have a limit. Number four is that rats can recognise a smell that was exposed to them whilst under anaesthesia. This study is very interesting. Rats were exposed to a specific odour whilst they weren't awake and they were under general anaesthesia. After they had recovered from the general anaesthesia, their brain tissue was examined and this study found that although the rats didn't have any recollection and couldn't recall when they were exposed to that smell because obviously they weren't awake, this was not registering in their brain as being a new or novel smell, and this suggests that rats have some level of sensory memory. Number five is that rats can be taught to play hide and seek. This one is very, very cute. Scientists taught rats to play hide and seek with them, and they would take turns in running and hiding, and then seeking out the people. When the rats found the people they were rewarded by being tickled and they would let out high-pitched chirps and sometimes the rats would just run and rehide without receiving any reward, suggesting they just really enjoyed playing this for the hell of it. Number six is that rats can recognise a 3D object 
even if its size has changed or it's been rotated. This study is just another one of many that proves just how intelligent rats are when it comes to them interacting with their environment. This one could be particularly useful when it comes to them searching for food, if they have any variation in shape or size. Say for example if there's a particular berry they know they can eat, they will still recognise this even if it's smaller or it's been rotated somehow. Seven is that rats may sacrifice an immediate reward in return for longer term payoff. One study showed that rats can estimate the long term value of learning and adapt their decision making to receive the biggest reward. In this study the rats were trained to press two levers, one of which gave them an immediate small reward, the other one made them wait a bit longer to gain a bigger reward and the rats were found to exhibit something called delayed gratification. This is where they would favour pressing the lever that, although they had to wait a bit longer, they gained the biggest reward. Number 8. Rats have rhythm and can keep a beat to music. This study found that rats have the ability to move their head and their body in time to music in the same way that us as humans will kind of sit and bob our head in time to the song and they did this by playing the Mozart but also things like Lady Gaga and Maroon 5 too. This study seemed to suggest that rats were rhythmically in sync with the music and did also display some level of predictive processing. Number 9. Rats remember who has been nice to them. A study showed that rats remember acts of kindness from other rats and were then more likely to help them in return. To test this, the rats were given carrot or banana as a treat, and if you've got rats, you know they tend to prefer banana over things like carrots, and they also had other rats pressing levers to give them either the carrot or the banana, and the rats who were having the treats then learned which rats were giving them the preferred food, which was the banana, or not. This study showed a clear preference for the rats to feed the rats that fed them banana much quicker than the rats that fed them carrots, and this suggests rats have the ability to reciprocate in an altruistic manner. And finally, number 10, rats can be taught to drive cars. This last one is a fun one. Scientists taught rats to drive cars, obviously a very simplified version, a tiny little plastic car that had three wires inside, three wires inside, one to go straight on, one to go left, and then also one to go right. And it only took the rats three five minute sessions a week, for eight weeks I think, to learn to drive these cars towards a treat. This study also showed that rats kept in enriching setups, so things like foraging toys and different substrates and textures to interact with, as opposed to rats kept in traditional lab setups or just the basics, were much quicker at learning to drive the cars and also much more motivated to drive them just kind of for the hell of it, even when there wasn't a food award at the end. I think this last study, as cool as it is, they've taught these rats to drive little cars. I think it also highlights the importance of giving rats in research more enrichment because it could enhance their performance and also how important it is to give our pet rats enrichment at home. But those were just 10 times that science proved rats are just amazing. I hope you found this interesting. Maybe it swayed how you feel about rats in general. And also let me know down in the comments how many of these did you already know? Did any of them surprise you? And also what is your favourite scientific study when it comes to rats? Let me know in the comments. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!